Good evening, everybody. Um, I am going to be doing a video on my new Nesco electric canner, and I have a spiral ham here that I'm going to cut up. Um, I have preheated my oven to 250 degrees, and I'm going to put these jars in there. These jars are washed and clean. I'm just sterilizing them in my oven. This is typically how I sterilize. Um, and so now I'm going to get to cutting on this beautiful spiral ham. Um, I know that it's been a few weeks since I have posted a video, and I do apologize. Um, my father-in-law passed away, and so we have just been uh, kind of spending extra time with our family, um, working through the loss, um, helping my mother-in-law with, you know, just tying up some loose ends and all the things that go along with it. Um, I am cutting off the fat of the ham when you can. Me, you don't want to have too much fatty on it. Um, so it does, it, this did take me a while, y'all, to um, kind of clean up the fatty pieces and cut off some of that skin um but yes uh so we've just been kind of working through the grief of uh my father-in-law passing over or crossing over rather uh, because he is more alive than you and i listening and watching this right now um i miss him dearly and uh, he was proof that the Father loves me uh, because he gave me such a gift to have that man as a father-in-law. Um, I honestly can't say more good things about that man. Um, I, I was blessed. Um, so that's why I've been absent for, for a while. Um, geez, a lot has gone on since I uh, <laughs> have taken my little sabbatical. Um, our world just keeps getting crazier and crazier by the second. Um, which lets me know that uh, Jesus is coming any moment. And uh, my prayer is that you guys are ready. Um, he loves you and... Uh, he wants to spend eternity with you, so, um, yeah, just be prepared, guys. Um, there's really a whole lot going on, um, in the Middle East, uh, with Russia and Ukraine, all the things. Um, so, guys, I guess just stay prayed up and prepared. Um, I'm not afraid of anything. Um, I'm ready. I'm, I'm I'm ready to go home. I'm, you know, I've got my house in order. Um, and if you know, you know. Uh, but my house is in order. Um, so anyway, um, now I've got my ham uh, chopped up. Now I'm going to use beef bouillon powder. And... Uh, it takes, I kind of jumped right into that, it takes eight cups of water, of hot water, in that Nesco uh, electric canner. Um, so I just used my kettle and heated up the eight cups of water there. Now I'm just packing um, the ham down in, and I'm kind of pushing it as far down as I can, uh, just to alleviate uh, as much air pockets as, as I can. Um, so I've got my mason jar full of the beef bouillon and water, and that's just the base stock that I'm using um, for my canning liquid. I'm not going to put any seasoning in this um, because I don't typically do a whole, whole lot when I can. Um, I'd rather do it, you know, as I'm reheating it. Um, and I expected that big old ham to produce more <laughs> than what it did, but it's mostly a bone, I guess. 
Um, so I did not use all eight of my canning jars. Um, right now I'm also just debubbling. Um, and the more you debubble, the more room you have for the liquid. And I am using the one inch headspace line. Um, so I've got my jars full. Now I'm just wiping the rims with vinegar to make sure that they're clean. So when I put the lids on, I get a good seal. Um, I did uh, put my lids in water on simmer just to kind of loosen up the ring. And now I am just enclosing it finger tight. You don't want to wrench it, you just want to finger tight. Um, so I've got uh, my canner ready. I'm putting the jars in as you can see. <laughs> I don't guess I need to tell you each step of the way you can see it. Um, but because I only got three of the jars, I did just can a jar of water just to kind of try and offset some of that space. And I put my um, eight cups of water in. Um, I do have to use the green weight. Um, I set it towards exhaust. Um, but I had to use the green weight because I am 16 over 1,600 feet above sea level. Um, and I'm setting it for those jars. You, they need to be in the pressure for 90 minutes. So I just set my canner to 90 minutes. Um, I hit start. And you'll see the little um, ticker go around. That's it's pressuring up. While it's doing that, I've got to work on these dishes. Um, once it's ready, um, it'll give you this E10. That means it's going to count down 10 minutes. Um, after it counts down 10 minutes, you move the green nozzle from exhaust to airtight. And then it's going to pressurize again. Um, once it pressurizes, um, it'll start the countdown. It gives you that little wheel again, the little train, I guess. Um, once it pressurizes to what it needs to, then it starts the countdown. Um, this is the finished product. Look at that water. Canned perfectly. <laughs> um, that's the finished product, guys. Um, outside of that, um, I will see you guys later. I'm very, very, very pleased with the canner. It uh, did a great, fantastic job. Um, all right, guys, that's all that I have. I love you guys, but Jesus loves y'all more. Bye.